Hey everybody, it's day number 10. I just came into the milk house to check everything over and uh, make sure everything's running good. And it appears to be, this morning's gone well so far. I hauled a load of manure when the ground was still frozen. I think it should stay froze most of the day, which is exciting. Finished up feeding all that stuff and uh, had a little surprise. My, my folks came home a little early. So dad's out here helping, Mason's out here helping. So we got a full house, which is super exciting. Should be able to get a lot done in a short amount of time. But anyways, Dad, he's working on some of the extra projects for today. He's moving a, a big hay square bale into the feeder out back for the dairy cows. And then he's also going to get a straw bale as well. So plenty to do this morning. We probably got to grind feed as well. Some corn, some dry corn. I'm going to get back to milking and, and we'll check back in with you guys fairly soon. Yeah, the old guy's back. Spent about the last 15, 20 minutes trying to figure out what happened when I was gone, just to get back in the swing of things again. Looks like they had a pretty good grip on the place, so I'm gonna grind some corn while they're taking care of all that. And I can imagine he's been showing you guys everything that's been happening here since I was gone. But anyhow, it all looks good. Our mineral situation has changed here a little bit in the last couple months. We've been getting our mineral in totes. What I'm doing is filling five five gallon buckets up just about to the top to give us what they require in one batch of milking cow grain mix. We get that done. Got to put our 15 pails of oats in. Then our shelled corn. You see it's Oh, I would think almost half gone from what we put in here originally. And uh, that's been working good with our hydraulic line that hooks to our tractor. I don't know if we've shown any of that this winter yet again. So I gotta get at it. Pretty much how we do it where I'll just scoop out five three quarters of the way full and then I take another pail and top them all up there's probably a better way to get this thing so we can get it out of there a little smoother but I think it's better than having all these um, paper sacks and stuff there's a, it's a little cheaper to do it that way and I was more worried about Okay, getting this huge pallet and getting it in the granary under the roof with everything else. Otherwise, we'd have had to keep it up in the shop, but it's working good. I think this will be what we're going to do from now on, at least for a while.
I always figure out which way I'm hooking them up so my hydraulic works the same way every time. This one's got a gold end on it. So I always put that one on top. Just so that the flow is always the same. And then on this particular model of Johnny, we got one regular auxiliary and one deluxe, which you got all your settings up here. And then, I don't know if you see that, the turtle and the rabbit for flow. So if you want to control your flow that comes out of that pipe, you can with this one. My 1066 doesn't have that, of course, but I usually just stay by the lever and because it doesn't have to run very much. So we're going to just run it up to, right now I'm just running my shelled corn up to maybe like just above the 40 mark. This mill's kind of sitting on an angle here, but that's mainly that everything is consistent each time. So you're not jerking your cows around on what you're giving them. I don't know if it exactly has to be perfect here, but we're going to get that done. small crack right here I just stuff a little grass in it being resourceful but what happens here is backing in places to try to line things up it it'll kink it just slightly I mean the mills only 40 years old maybe older type of setup is it could be better I think before I retire from this whole business <laughs> we may come up with a better way of feeding this out I'm sure we could do some modifications to this opening and but all in all this whole deal I love it all cheap and simple and ain't too much can go wrong you know a little bit of labor but it isn't I'll take that over headaches of fixing and expense
lady kind of topped off this gutter load with the, some of the pen pack. Froze up this morning. That's the time to haul. Okay, we got the Oliver in the wagon up here. Now we're gonna load up some hay. So then the bull barn's all stocked up for dry hay. We got all the morning chores done and uh, as you guys have seen dad is back how was your uh, vacation go it was all right it's good yeah kind of lose track of time yeah the, the weather's warmer down there yeah you have your flip-flops on or, <laughs> no no flip-flops <laughs> no flip-flops no we're helping the son-in-law clean clean his place and do some repairs and stuff but it was it was good happy to have dad back it was uh it was a really good series Thank you all for watching, and uh, if you haven't already, make sure to check out the other videos, and uh, we will uh, see you guys next time.